Oh, hello, 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 how are you? This is Elf Company from Bim's Craft Corner, and today we're going to talk about this. Um, it's just a little file folder, you know, kind of journal card looking thing, but, um, you know, we see them this way all the time, so I decided we were going to do it this way. And since I use these in the nature journal, I thought, let's do a video and show everybody how I did this, okay? So I'm going to get some stuff out, I'll be right back with a list of supplies, and we'll get started. As always, measurements are going to be in the description box below. Um, so here's our list of supplies. You're going to want some cardstock or paper, whatever it is you're going to be using to make this. Leftover file, file folders works really good for this. Um, score tools, a pair of scissors, a trimmer, ink and a dauber, and then two punches. You're going to want a circle punch. And you're going to want some kind of a tab punch. If you don't have a tab punch, don't worry about it. Um, you can use a larger circle punch and cut it out on the sides. Or uh, you can just use a square and fold it in half. And I'll show you how to do that as well. Okay, so we're going to get started. I'm going to get some stuff out of the way. And I'll be right back and we'll get started on the cuts and the sizes that you're going to need to do this. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, so the first thing is... The ones that I have here are four and three quarter inches long. So, we are going to need a piece of paper that is nine inches. So we're gonna take two inches off of our eight and a half by 11. Hold on to that. And then we're gonna be cutting the widths of our tags. And I think three inches is a pretty good width. So I'm going to take this at three inches. And that's a good scrap. We'll save that. But you're going to get two out of one sheet of paper, okay? So these are now nine by three, all right? We're going to get out our scoring tools. We're going to score this on the long end at four and a half. Okay, wherever there's a valley, turn it into a hill. Okay, we'll do the same thing with this one just to get it done and have it ready to go. Uh, if you want to round the corners, you can do that, and I would suggest you do it now. If you're using a file folder, this part could be a little bit thick. Just go over it with your bone folder a couple, two, three times, and that will thin it a little bit and make it easier to fit in your punch, okay? All right. So once we have that done, what we're gonna do is find the front. We're gonna go ahead and put this on our scoreboard or use a ruler, however you wanna do this. And we're going to find the middle. Now, this is a three inch piece, so one and a half inches. So I'm just going to come in and put a little mark right here at one and a half inches. And that's where I'm going to be putting my circle. Not quite a half circle, more like um, a third. But if you look inside your punch, you're going to see that line. That's a center line. Okay, just like they have the lines on the side, they have one here, and it's a center line. And so what you're going to do is you're going to put your paper in and match your line up visually with that line on the inside and punch that piece out. Okay? Just like that. All right, first thing to do before we assemble, we're going to ink. Now, you don't have to ink the inside of this. Um, but I do recommend that you ink both sides of the outside. And then, of course, ink your tab. Both sides, all the way around.
Okay. And then what I do is I just take a little bit of glue and I put it on here. Just that part. Okay. And I'll show you why. I'm going to line this up here with my front and mess with it a little bit, get it just where I want it. And then I'm going to press this down in the back and then glue the rest of it together. That makes sure that this is in the center where I want it. Okay. So there's my tab. All right, so this is a four by six inch piece of paper, and we're just gonna score this at three inches. A couple of light scores. Don't go crazy here and rip through the paper, okay? And then wherever there's a hill, make it a valley, valley into a hill, okay? Once you get it all lined up and you got your edges together just the way you want, take your bone folder and burnish that fold, okay? Again, if you have anything up here that's extra from the stretching here, just go ahead and trim it off. If not, go ahead and round your corners if you want to round your corners. And then you're going to find your center again. Which is at four and a half. So we're going to go at two and a quarter right there. That's our center. Now, if you want to put this off center because you want to make it look like a file folder, one, two, and three, you could do that as well. Uh, I will give you the numbers for that, by the way. I'm going to come in. I'm going to take about a third of a circle out of there. Boop. This is the extra piece for the eight and a half. So I'm going to go ahead and punch a tab out of that. Same exact thing. We're going to go ahead and fold this in half, line it up as neatly as we can, burnish our fold, and ink everything just like we did on the other one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and ink this and uh, I'll be back. We'll put it on and then we'll get started on um, doing a little decorating. Okay, perfect. All right, so I wanted to do this one more time. So what I do is I open my tab. And I put glue just on the edge here. Okay. Then I take the other part of the tab, line it up, make sure that I've got it in the right position here. Okay. And then get it set where it needs to be. And then Put the back down. Okay. Then I glue the rest of it down. That just makes sure that um, I have it lined up perfectly. And you don't see anything wonky or weird. Okay. All right, so as I said, these are going to be in my nature notebook. So I'm kind of working, you know, on that theme. So I have here a piece of the paper that we used in that. And um, we're going to be tearing some of this. And we have some of the green that we've used, some of the phrases, some more of the paper, you know, just little bits of stuff that are from that journal. And let's see, we're going to decorate these based on that. So, um,
Now, I don't like this straight edge, so I'm just tearing the straight edge off. And if you are tearing off a straight edge, always make sure that you tear away from the piece that you want to keep. Okay? So, don't tear this back. Tear it up. Because you want to get that kind of frayed edge. And that's going to make your ink stand out a little better. And it makes it look more natural and less deliberate. Okay? So if you're new to this type of stuff, that's a helpful hint. Alright. So now I have that. And we're going to put that on there. Quick and easy. And the reason I'm decorating in this direction is because this is probably going to come out of a side pocket. So I want it to still be up right this way, okay? And not quite sure. I want to use this, but I'm not sure. It's a little wide, so we'll have to see. All right, so now I have this, and I don't like the edge on it, so I'm just going to trim it off. This is a washi sticker. And I want it to look more like a label and less like a stamp. Gonna go ahead and peel that off the backing. A little bit of glue. Doesn't take a lot, but I don't trust it, so. on this we're going to probably put that right side up instead of upside down so a little bit of washi I'll break that off And this needs a pop of color, but I'm not sure what I'm going to put on it yet. So, you know, that'll come later. But at this point, they can journal inside here, and they can still journal on the back of this, and you can put it into a, a tuck spot, and it looks fantastic. So now we're going to work on this one. And like I said, I'm not real sure what I'm doing over here yet. But I'm going to work on this one, and then I'll be back, and I'll show you both of them, and we'll wrap this up. Be right back. All right, so here's the two that we just completed. Uh, this one, I decided to leave it a little bit plainer. Um, I may add some color to it later. I'm just not sure what it needs yet. I'll find it. It's here someplace. Uh, on this one, uh, this is the side open one. And this is the top opening one. And what I did here is I just added a little piece of painter's paper. I did get that, um, that phrase in there. One of the stickers from the roll that has the, the jar of butterflies. And uh, a little butterfly here. And then I just put a little teeny bit of bling right here on that one. Just uh, as a little pop of color. And that's it. You know, easy peasy, guys. These are simple to do. Uh, remember that the measurements for these sizes, for the vertical and horizontal on these, is going to be in the description box below. So uh, if you want to check that out, you'll have your cutting sizes and your scoring down there as well. Um, let's see. Anything else? That's it. If you're new here and you haven't done so already, go and hit that button for me and subscribe. Like me, ring my bell, share me with all your friends, and your friends can be my friends, and my friends can be your friends, and our friends can get to be friends. And before you know it, we have a giant crafting community. I go live on Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and Sundays. And on Sundays, we play uh, games. Right now, we're in the feud. And um, 
Let's see, what else? I post videos typically twice a week, usually on Mondays and Wednesdays, but you know, it could be any day. And if you want to know what's going on, uh, do I have any free classes coming up? Do I have any videos that are being released? What journals am I working on? Those types of things. Just check out the community tab here. There's a list. Or go over to my Facebook group. There's a link in the description box below that'll get you there. And join my Facebook group. We have a lot of things going on. We have our Projects 23 Challenge going on. Um, we have um, our Minute Mysteries going on. There's a lot of things to do, uh, especially over there in the group. So if you would like to join us, we would love to have you. Until I see you again, stay well, my friends. Bye-bye.